Hello, and welcome to the 2020 Dimensions of Learning Academy 8th grade graduation celebration. I'm Diana Pearson, the principal. We are so glad that you are viewing this program. I usually have to remind everybody to turn off their cell phones and tell you where the drinking fountains and restrooms are, but guess I don't have to do that this year. Anyway, thank you for viewing. It's been my pleasure to have had the privilege of having many years with this group of graduates that we are celebrating virtually here tonight. And although this may be a bit different, what isn't different is that I could not be prouder of each and every one of them. In fact, I think this period of time has magnified that pride and I want them all to know that. I respect and admire all that they are going through, and I know that they are together in this and supporting each other. And we are here to celebrate and support them this evening. This also marks the graduation of some of our families who have been with us from one to nine years, and some even longer than that, and you know who you are. Thank you. I won't get to hug all you moms and dads and thank you for entrusting us with your students for so many years. But please know that I am thinking of this as we end our school year in this unusual fashion. For our eighth graders, who we will still call soon alumni, we look forward to welcoming you back one of these days, not too far in the future, I hope, and we want to stay in touch with you and hear what your future holds and welcome you back to share your stories. There are also committees and staff that planned and helped with all of our eighth grade year and our graduation activities. We wanna recognize their efforts and the work that goes on behind the scenes, despite how it all turned out. We definitely wanna thank them for their help with this production. We appreciate their hard work and know that you do too. I wanna to thank also all the Dimensions of Learning Academy staff, especially the middle school teachers and other teachers who you'll hear speaking in this presentation. But first, especially, I want to say thank you to Mrs. White for putting this video presentation together. You can look forward to hearing from our students, Maya, Joshua, Emmy, and Anna, who have taken the opportunity that we allow for any student who wishes to give a graduation speech to do so. You'll also hear from many of the staff who have taught these students in their years here. We then have a special pictorial chronicle of the class of 2020. It usually is a video, and it still is. We'll be presenting and honoring the achievements of these students by including the activities, sports, or other accomplishments that they participated in, and we'll give you a glimpse of some of their thoughts about various questions we asked them to reflect upon. Lastly, we have some musical performances to also look forward to in this presentation. And now, I invite you to sit back, get comfortable, get your popcorn, and enjoy. This truly is a celebration of all the hard work and learning that has marked your time here at Dimensions. Dear fellow eighth graders, this year has been crazily, I don't even know. From our last Owls field trip getting canceled to the coronavirus taking away our final days at Dimensions, this year has truly been a roller coaster. But we are all in this together. Even though we may have not, not have gotten to go to DC or play against the staff in the annual volleyball game, we still graduated as a class, as friends, and as family. Yes, we have done it, peeps. We have graduated, and it's not a dream. 
Recently, I was listening to a song called For Good from Wicked and immediately thought of my class. It said, I've heard it said that some people come into our lives for a reason, bringing something we must learn and we are led to those who help us most to grow if we let them and we help them in return. Well, I don't know if I believe that's true, but I know who I am today because I knew you. We can all say that ever since meeting each other, our personalities have changed and have been helped formed by everyone around us in this class. We are leaving the school a different person than when we came into the school, no matter how long time it was since we came into the engines. We will miss you all. Fellow middle school parents, teachers, and students, I would not like to make you hear a long and sad speech, so I will try to sound short and upbeat. Thank you all for a fun and exciting middle school. The teachers for making all of our lessons interesting and fun, the parents for supporting the students, and the students for putting up with me. I look forward to one day seeing you again. And if you're wondering what Nathan looks like, just imagine me with less hair. Bye. I remember walking into school on the first day of kindergarten, being scared, unsure, and wondering when I was going to make some friends. It feels like just yesterday that we were kindergartners, and now we are getting ready to start a new adventure called high school. What this means is that our eighth grade year is coming to a close pretty fast, faster than most of us would like to think. Now, the next chapter of our life is ahead of us, high school. Middle school was a pretty rocky time filled with ups and downs. However, everything that we went through to get us this far has just prepared us for life. In sixth grade, we started receiving our first letter grades and figuring out what type of student to be, transitioning, to, transitioning from having one teacher a day to four teachers a day was quite, quite a roller coaster. As weird and awkward as that sounds, that sums up life as a sixth grader. In seventh grade, we spent the year trying new things and ironing out familiar routines. This was the year we finally started to understand what middle school is going to be like. Finally, eighth grade, we, be we began to put it all together. We ran like a well-oiled machine. It was this year when I realized that we were the role models to younger kids in school. They w smaller kids looked up to us. They wanted to act like us. They wanted to be like us. This was an amazing feeling. Each year of our schooling has been leading up to this moment of our lives, getting us ready for the next big step. We, not, we might not be able to take this next big step together as a class, but we will never forget the memories that we have made throughout our years here. In all my years at Dimensions, I would have to say my 8th grade year has been the most interesting by far. Having to finish our 8th grade year at home is a big change. Though sometimes I really wish we had the chance to finish our 8th grade year normally and getting to have graduation at school and getting the chance to go to Washington, D.C. I am just glad... We're all safe. While middle school has not been perfect, I would not trade it for anything. Getting to spend the first year, nine years of my schooling with my classmates, teachers, and friends is something I will never forget. It will be sad having to go our separate ways. But I think as a class, we are all ready for a new challenge and a new adventure. I, I would not be as ready as I am now without the hard work and support of all my teachers, coaches, and friends. Even though... I am ready for high school. It will be hard to leave what I know behind. It will be a new school, new friends, new teachers, and new experiences. But this is an adventure that I am excited to take. I wish all of you good luck in high school and enjoy your last four years of school before college. Dimensions of Learning, Class of 2020. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do, but things you did do. So go out and leave your positive mark on what this world, our time, is now. Eighth grade class of 2020, congratulations. Um, it's been an enjoyable experience for me to watch you all grow since you were all in fifth grade, uh, my first year teaching at Dimensions. And to watch you guys grow and continue to form uh, those bonds between your classmates and your teachers and all of us here at school. 
and I wish you guys nothing but the best moving forward into high school and whichever avenues you choose to pursue in your uh, in your high school, college, career, your future, uh, all that stuff is super exciting for all of us and we're nothing but proud and excited for you. Congratulations. Congratulations, you eighth grade smarties. It seems just like yesterday that you were elementary students. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. You've all grown into young adults who truly have been able to use their lifelong learning skills in this new time of learning. I'm honored to, be, have, been, to have been a part of your learning at our school. Some of you I've known since you were in first grade and others I've recently met. I cherish all of you. All of you have, ha have a loving place in my heart. Having been a part of Dimensions Family for however long has prepared you for high school and beyond. I'm forever proud to have been a part of your education, your laughter, your behavior, your friendships, your jokes, your happiness, your sadness, and your all around life at our school. Remember to keep in touch, visit often, and keep us posted on your life. Congratulations. Are we on? Are we re we're, we're recording? Like right now? Okay. Start. Three, two, one. Hello, eighth graders, and congratulations. This is surely a year you will never forget. You guys decided to go out with a bang, and if this is some sort of elaborate eighth grade prank that I've been living in since March, please end this now. No? Not a prank? Okay, well, either way, I hope you've enjoyed your middle school experience. I have definitely enjoyed your class. You are a group of incredibly intelligent young people who are doing and going to do great things. But as I've often said, intelligence can only get you so far. It's your character that defines you. Continue to be hard workers, individuals with high standards. Show good decision making, kindness, and respect. Remember that your character trumps everything. Make wise choices in your relationships, in your school life, with your parents, and beyond. You're the best. And on behalf of myself, and vengeance, and fortitude, congratulations and good luck. You were my middle school students through grades 7 and 8. You challenged and questioned and said you couldn't wait. You are serious and silly and dramatic, it's true. With courage and strength, you helped each other through. I hope your experiences and teachers help shape the student you are. Please tackle your future with grace and always reach for the stars. Keep a positive growth mindset. Always believe in all you can do. Dimensions of learning won't be the same without you. Congratulations, class of 2020. We celebrate your growth, your creativity, your personalities, and your strength. Keep learning, keep dreaming, and remember to visit. I wish you all the best and can't wait to hear about all of your adventures in high school and beyond. I am so proud of you all. Hello, graduating class of 2020 at Dimensions of Learning Academy. I just wanted to leave a message for your graduation video this year and letting you know that teaching all of you for the two years I got to teach you was so fun. There was nothing more rewarding to me than having the opportunity to watch all of you learn and grow over the years. You're all amazingly unique and have the greatest personalities. Your future is bright and you can do anything you set your mind to. All of you will hold a special place in my heart and I thank you for putting a smile on my face every day. I am proud of all of you and wish you the best of luck in high school and beyond. I want to leave you with a quote, one that is very relevant given the current situation. It goes like this. At the end of the day, all you need is hope and strength. Hope that it will get better and strength to hold on until it does. So keep hoping, stay strong, and keep in touch.
to my 8th graders, I have truly enjoyed spending the last three years with you. You are a group of motivated, creative, and determined students. My day was brighter because it started with you. Each of you were able to put a smile on my face and make me laugh. Your personalities filled my room with positivity, enjoyment, comfort, and a sense of family. Though we didn't spend as much time together as planned, that makes the time that we did have this year even more special. One of my favorite memories from this year was when we read Dr. Seuss books each morning during Dr. Seuss week. So I think it's only fitting that I leave you with some Dr. Seussisms. Be proactive. Unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. You are entering a new environment. Take the initiative. Reach out to the staff. You will have more than four core teachers now. Only you can be responsible for the type of high school experience you have. Try new things. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. You do not like them, so you say. Try them, try them, and you may. Try them, and you may, I say. Put yourself out there. Join new clubs, sports, and activities. This is a great way to meet new people and make friends. Take advantage of all high school has to offer. Expand your horizons. The more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. Push yourself to learn new things. Your new hobby or interest could be right around the corner. You have tons of new classes to choose from. Set your goals high. I know you can achieve them. Don't be afraid to accept help. I floated 12 days without toothpaste or soap. I practically almost had given up hope. When someone up high shouted, here, catch the rope. Then I knew that my troubles had come to an end, and I climbed up the rope calling, thank you, my friend. You are entering a new chapter in your life. New people, new school, new opportunities, and new routines. So ask for help when you need it. Study. You can learn about ice. You can learn about mice. You can learn about the price of ice. You might learn a way to earn a few dollars, or how to make donuts, or kangaroo collars. Don't forget the habits that you created and successfully implemented here. Continue to value your education. Make a plan. Do you ever sit and fidget when you don't know what to do? Everybody gets the fidgets, even me and even you. Make sure to use your time effectively, stay organized, and keep using that assignment notebook. You create your plan to success. Be true to yourself. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own, and you know what you know, and you are the guy who will decide where to go. Continue to show that confidence and strong will that I've seen the last three years. Be proud of who you are and who you're becoming. Your individuality is what makes you you. Think big. My new zoo, McGrew Zoo, will make people talk. My new zoo, McGrew Zoo, will make people gawk at the strangest of creatures that ever did walk. I'll get for my zoo a new sort of a hen who roosts in another hen's top knot, and then another one roosts in the top knot of his, and another in his, and another in his, and so forth and upward and onward. Gee whiz! What do you want to accomplish at the end of the next four years? Set goals, small and large. Dream big. And always remember... And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and 3 fourths percent guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. You've got this. I believe in you. I can't wait to hear about everything you accomplish in the future. Come back and visit or send an email. You know our door is always open. So congrats to my now former students, the Dimensions of Learning class of 2020.
Years ago, my father sent me a copy of remarks made by historian David McCullough in a speech about American history and America's future. It seems very appropriate to excerpt and adapt for some closing thoughts on this historic graduation year. Harry Truman once said, the only new thing in the world is the history you don't know. I think this, in light of all of us leaving school on March 12th and not knowing how history was being made, can appreciate this thought. If there was a theme for tonight, I think it would be, the rest of your history hasn't been written yet. The thing about history as we are all understanding in a completely new way through this pandemic time, is that nothing ever had to happen the way it happened. History could have gone off in any number of different directions in any number of different ways at any point along the way. That applies to your history, eighth grade class of 2020 as well. You never know what will happen one thing does lead to another. We don't have a crystal ball and our actions have consequences. Yes, we are living in history in the making. Nobody has lived in the past if you stop to think about it. Jefferson, Adams, Washington, they didn't walk around saying, isn't this fascinating living in the past? They lived in the present just as we do. And just as we don't know how our histories are going to turn out for us, they didn't either. And it's very easy to stand at a point in time and find fault with people for why they did this or didn't do something or another, but what we now understand is that like all our forefathers, we're confronting a transformational present. And surely, just as those have gone before us, no, you all have choices to make as you write the histories of your life. And you will continue to have them as you go on to high school and beyond. It isn't just events which shape our history, though. Stop and think about those people who have transformed your life. Family, teachers, friends, competitors. They've all had a part in your history thus far. History, both that of our country and our recent history here at Dimensions, has made a difference in the choices you will make in your life. You, in this transformational time that we are living in, will build upon the foundations of the past and the gifts that you take from all who have contributed to your learning. You can be secure in your future because you have strong connections that have anchored you and those will remain through any rough weather or unexpected events 
which lie ahead in your life. And you can be secure because your future is what you make of it. Dimensions and your time here, we know, will help you as lifelong learners to make the most of your life and history. This evening is an ending of one leg of the journey. Throughout this time, you have worked hard, studied and learned a great deal. You have contributed to the ongoing story of this school in our historic 20th year, each of you in your own unique way. And for this, we owe you a debt of gratitude. Student Council, Safety Patrol, awards, you've heard of all of our students' accomplishments over the years in their journeys here. What you had in this presentation was a brief glimpse into happiness, growing pains, lots of fun and laughter, growing of courage, and a bit of what this group of students has meant to the whole Dimensions learning community. For all that you brought to us students, on behalf of everyone at our school, we want to say thank you to you. I will miss you all because you are all like my children. Take what you have learned here and use it well. Use it as you begin your next career as a high school student. Use it to meet challenges, to reach new dimensions. Use what you have learned here with all of us now and throughout your lives. And may it serve you well. We have all been with you in this chapter of your history. Parents, teachers, students, family, and friends. Join me now as we raise our popcorn containers and wish you luck, success, and happiness to the 2020 graduating class of Dimensions of Learning Academy. <laughs>